I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rapping like that. Whoa! You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. This blog is being brought to you by none other than Nate Drink One Podcast. Make sure you check him out, but dog. Loso, Loso versus none, none. I said it in one of the previous predictions and things like that, that none, none is a good competitor. He can rap, he has bars, and he has just sent Loso home. Now, personally, I feel like it was a really, really debatable battle. Um, these guys both have a lot of talent. Uh, the first round, uh, both came out wilding out the gate. Uh, I had Loso winning the first round very close. Second round, none, none. He goes fucking crazy. Oh my god, I'm the first to drop Loso like DJ Clue. And he just starts going and barking like he was wigging all throughout the round. Um, third round, it comes down to the third round. Loso had, I mean, none, none had a pretty consistent fire third round, and Loso's third was fire too. I kind of edged Loso's third, but I could see why none, none won. I don't feel like somebody got jerked or ripped off or whatever the case may be. But, I mean, it's like, wow. I'm shocked. Loso goes home early? Whoa. Brackets are busted. Uh, people are, you know, it is what it is, though. That's the way the game goes. The brackets get busted. And now you have a situation where um, none, none moves on. He was, he was probably one of the ones least predicted to win his battle. And he came out and he did his thing. You got to have respect for none, none. He is fire. He was not playing. And he took all of the things in consideration of people talking, saying he going to lose, he going to get smoked, whatever the case may be. And he came out wigging. Loso gets sent home early. That was crazy out the gate. Um, they also had Wavy versus Steams. Wavy, uh, just his performance was on 10, like he was wilding all throughout the battle. Uh, he had some punches. His punches don't be crazy, crazy, but they be enough to land. So that that that's why he exceeds past themes. That's what I said, that's what I said, that's what I said. His, his, his punches don't be crazy, crazy, but it be enough to win, you know what I mean? Like, he, like the thing about Steam, Steam's always be so slippy blippy choppy poppy and it's like hard to really pick him because he, he be too slippy with it like you 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 know one has a better pen steam's pen is better than mr wavy's but steam's just be all over the place and sometimes it's like dog you got to be cleaning you got to be clean this is twenty five thousand. you cannot be up there on some choppy poppy shit and i just think that in this circumstance Wavy did better. Wavy's energy was up. And I like what I ain't gonna lie, I like what Wavy was doing, man. I definitely love what he was doing. Now, can he bring that back a week or so from now? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? We have to see if he's gonna be able to do that. But uh in this one, he was ready. He was definitely ready. I had him winning 2-1, if not 3-0. Like he clearly won. Like Steams was just too 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 slippy. Um, then you had Young Cannon versus Bill Collector. Uh, Young Cannon versus Bill Collector is a very interesting battle. Like these guys, uh, they were dancing, man. I'm not gonna hold you, man. Um, Bill Collector, he has a way that he could just break down his opponent. Like I said, he's one of the most complete battle rappers as far as like he might not do everything great but he does a lot of things good that's the one thing about him he do a lot of things pretty good like he can he can scheme he can got a little punchy you know what i'm saying he could dance yeah, he got bars young cannon you're just gonna get all bars like all lines all bill flips and a lot of the bill flips that he had were not bill flips that were like super original we've heard him like ducking the bill and all this other stuff and then bill he's able to just like like even in the toughest of competition he can weasel his way around and I said it before I said 
that Bill Collector is built for tournaments like this because he's not going to be super punch heavy. He's not going to be no over the top bars, but he's going to have enough rap raps to get where he's got to go. And then a lot of people are going to feel like Young Cannon won or got robbed per se, but I can see it both ways. If you like what Young Cannon does with all bars and just punches and just going line for line for line, south side, wilding like that, you're going to like, you're going to have him win it. But if you like Bill's, you know, flexibility and able to just weave through things, you let the desert spray. You spent two months on writing that shit and I wrote everything I got yesterday. Like, he do that type of shit and it's very appealing to the judge. It's very, um... It's to the judges, it's very appealing, it's a cool style, and I think the judges had him winning 4-0. Uh, yeah, everyone had him winning, and then the fans had him winning too. So, um, I, I don't, if it was one of them things where a couple people had one person winning, a couple people had another person winning, and it came down to it, that'd be one thing. The Nun Nun battle came down to the fans, and the fans picked Nun Nun over Loso. See, the thing about Loso, you gotta win that shit. You gotta win that in the battle. You can't let it come down to the end, especially for 25 bands. When a motherfucker wild out on you, like uh, none none wild out on your ass in the second round, that shit cannot come down to the fans because you are not going to win. You were supposed to win that shit in the battle. And I finally, and I figured out what was wrong. See, Loso was rapping, and then he got to certain points that was a, like, was a punch, and he like paused, like he like duh, 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 duh. And then he get back into his shit, and I'm like, dawg, you gotta go straight through, this is two minutes, none of them was on your fucking head, the whole goddamn battle. I fuck with what Loso does, but nigga, this is a bracket buster. You are a bracket buster. I forgot to mail you this. None of is a BTB bracket buster, baby. He gets the bracket busting. I'm sure me and my man Showtime SP is gonna talk about that one. Uh, Wavy and Steams, cool battle, nothing too crazy. Wavy did his thing. I love Wavy's performance. Um, he, he, he does that with the punches. Uh, he has a, a very serviceable flow. He had a lot of energy. His performance beat Steams. Like, Steams, I don't, I don't, Steams was rapping, like, so Steams rounds was like he was rapping with, like, the lights turned off and, like, a pillowcase over his head. Like, he was just, like, all over the place. I don't know what he was doing. Um, but it was better than Gluezy. Gluezy was rapping like he wrote his shit on the way there. I don't know. It was, I don't know. The Goonie shit. I don't know, whatever, but uh, it just wasn't good. Um, but Wavy, Steams, good. Nun Nun, uh, Nun Nun did his fucking thing, man. Nun Nun definitely did his thing. Uh, and the Tink the Demon and the franchise just happened. I'll be back to talk about that one. But uh, so far, there's some pretty good battles going on. The first one, not good. Reaperell got smoked. Um, I mean, he lost, not smoke smoked. He just lost to Danny Mines. Danny Mines is going crazy. But uh, I think overall, a lot of people should be giving props to um a lot of people should be giving props to the boy uh to the boy none none. His, he should be definitely getting props because he's definitely um he's doing his thing. He definitely did his thing. Uh he he was he got busy. I'm not gonna lie, he definitely got busy in this one. And I will give him props for that. I will say congratulations. Um Hunger Games, Hunger, he, he, he was bugging, and you gotta show none of respect and show him love because uh, a lot of people had him picked to lose, and it's like, yeah, this is what you got, and moving forward, he got a lot of punches, he got a lot of style, and he he was wigging, man, he was definitely wigging. Uh, Wavy Steams, that was what it was, but I'm, I'm pretty shocked that Loso lost, I'm not gonna lie, there's gonna be some people that try to make it debatable or say that Loso won, I seen some fan votes that said Loso won, but it shouldn't come down. It shouldn't have to come down to the end like that. Like it cannot come down to the end where you have to even go there. You know what I'm saying? Like you Loso, you gotta win that battle while it's happening. Cause if you wait till the end and try to secure a fan vote, it ain't gonna go that way. It ain't, it, it'll never go that way. And now you have yourself losing in the first round. But none of a very formidable opponent. I said it in the predictions that he got punches, he got bars, he got all that. You know what I'm saying? So he, he's he's definitely a good MC, and I like what he does. I definitely likes what he does. You know what I'm saying? Iron Solomon peeped what he was doing, and um, it's good to see Iron Solomon back in the battle rap fold. You know what I'm saying? So um, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. You had Wavy Steams, Bill Collector versus Young Cannon. Bill Collector. He, he, he got through that one. He knows how to dance. He got through the south side of Chicago and um, none, none. Pulls the big upset, man. You, you, you can never be 
You can never, never, never know how these things go. Brackets get busted all the time. None of them with the big upset. You already know what it do and what it does. You ain't got to ask what it was. I'll be back with my guy Showtime SP. I'm just glossing over these things right quick. You know, we're going to talk a little bit more. But gang, gang, gang. Salute to my man, Nate Drink One Podcast. Talk to me. Gang. Everybody, this is your boy, Nate Drink, from the Nate Drink One Sports Podcast channel. And I wanted to stop by and ask you for your support and your help on my channel and also on my show channel at A Drink of Wisdom. I drop new episodes every Saturday and you can catch me on all the social media platforms under Nate Drink One. And with that said, here go a quick snippet of one of my most recent shows. Thanks for your support and remember, let's talk some sports, baby. And, and I'm out. NFL has banned jersey exchanges between players for the 2020 season. What do you think of that policy, Drink? So let me get this right. So these players could spend two to three hours trading blood, saliva, sweat, but the straw that breaks the camel back is if they swap jerseys at the end of the game. Give me a break. This is stupid. Just stupid. What are we talking about here? Hey, come on, cut me. Get the, get the hell out of here.